Welcome to estimating for the small contractor, estimate with Excel for the small contractor. This is video number nine. I'm going to show you how to take your basic worksheet or your basic workbook and uh, convert it into a workbook that will calculate roof materials and labor. Uh, this is something I use all the time, something that I've got. I, I built the sheet quite a number of years ago. Uh, here's our basic. Here's our basic uh, worksheet. Um, this, all of these, the cover sheet, the estimate worksheet, the letter, the bill worksheet, and the invoice, that's called a workbook. This, th these are called tabs here at the bottom. This tab is my estimate worksheet. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a copy of it. I'm going to put that copy at the end. and it's going to ask me some questions about do I want the name contingency to move over and a few other things that I've got set off the cover sheet. And I can press yes to each one of those. Now I've got my estimate worksheet. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to write rough. I'm going to go to, I'm going to empty out, I'm going to delete any information that's on the sheet so that I have a blank sheet. I'm going to keep my estimating and my billing hours in there. Okay. Estimating billing with markup $176. Okay, now I need to populate the material side of this with a uh, with my materials from my materials worksheet. I've got two sheets open. So I'm going to come up here to view. Let me see. Let me move that up if I can so you can see. I'm going to come up to view. I'm going to arrange all. I'm going to arrange them vertically. So they're going to be basically side by side. Here's my roof worksheet or my roof materials. If I click on this, then I can work over here. Um, I don't need material name, I just need shingles and the price. I'm going to click on that and that's the labor part down there. I'm going to click on that and drag down. And so I've got these areas highlighted. I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to come back over here to line 14 and I can right click and paste. The other way I can do it is I can copy and paste up here. As long as I have it open, I'm going to come down here and um, get my labor text. Come up here, copy, come back over to this sheet and I'm going to paste. Now you can see that I have a problem with a value here. Something screwed up probably because it's got price here. Because it's got price, it's calculating this is calculating B14 times um, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Delete that. That should clear everything up. <clears throat> with a roof worksheet, I'm going to want to tighten things. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the, uh, I don't want to freeze the panes anymore. So I'm going to go up to a view and freeze panes. I'm going to come down and unfreeze panes. So now I can move up and down. Before it was frozen, I'll show you how that was. It'll freeze the row above wherever I have highlighted. So that's the way it's operating when it's frozen, when I've got a, a row frozen. But for the purposes of this worksheet, I'm going to unfreeze the panes. <sighs> I know that I'm going to want about uh, 10, 12 rows. I'm going to insert rows. I'm going to 
and I know that I'm not going to need, um, I can tighten up some spaces so I can have more um, more area up here to work with. Now the first thing I'm going to do is build a uh, um, build a calculator. Uh, that, one, that I'm going to build over here and I want probably on this line. I'm going to, uh, this is, this is going to be a square foot calculator. Okay, area number one. I'm going to jump back in there and put a space. Now, if I take area number one and draw down, now I got area, now you see how it fill, it uh, takes whatever I have there and adds area number one, two, three, four, five. It's kind of a cool feature. Okay, this is going to be the uh, Eve. And this is going to be the rake. And this is going to be the uh, square foot total. Equals Eve times rake. Press enter. And then come down here and get the cross on that corner. Click or right click. No, left click, I'm sorry. Left click and drag down and that fills. Probably going to want a few more spaces here, I can see. And I can come up here and add spaces or I can right click. If I right click then it comes up uh, insert entire rows Okay, let me see here. Now, we're not done building that. We're going to sum, and it already guessed what I want to do. That is going to be the uh, roof area. It's going to be a subtotal. Because when I figure the roof area, I also like to figure cap which is now called hip and ridge. In the old days when they cut them out of three tabs we called them cap. Okay. And right now let's just say that's going to be higher square feet. I'm going to change that later. But um, this is going to be these total square foot. And I'm going to um, yeah, I'm just going to use auto sum, and we're going to take the uh, subtotal plus the hip and ridge. Uh, highlight those, left left click, drag it over the two you want to um, include it in the uh, in the sum or the auto sum, and then press enter. Okay, um, I'm going to fill a couple of things in here. Um, my roof area is, uh, I basically kind of drew out a, uh, a simple roof that's got a T or a T shape so that there's one, uh, one gable or one roof comes into another one and it forms two valleys and I put a couple of dormers in there. So, first roof area is 30 by 14. Next roof area is 30 by 14. Uh, and then the main house is uh, 50 feet by 16. 50 feet by 16. And then I've got two dormers that I'm just going to, because of the overhangs and the dormers, I'm going to call that uh, an extra three feet by 30. No, it probably shouldn't be that way. 
I can't really use these subtotals for the rake and the eave because every roof is so different. I'm going to put that under here. It's probably not a full three foot of overhang. It's generally about two foot. Okay. So I got a my total square foot is uh, 2,700. And then I'm going to, we're going to figure this out in, uh, we're going to call the roof by squares. So we're going to take this, this cell is going to be equals 2720. And we're going to uh, round it up. So come back up here to our formula bar. Start to type round up and then see how it appears down there. There. And then press tab. And it wants the number, or the number is our cell, which is D23, comma, zero, parentheses, press enter. I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? I got never mind. D23 divided by 100. Enter. 28 squares. Can't always think on my feet. Okay. Uh, obviously, you can see that I've done this once or twice in practice. I'm going to take this set of stuff. Yeah, not that set. I'm going to go down here first. Control C, and I can copy it. This is some, uh, and I'm going to put it right there. This is some questions I ask myself, and this is um, because not. Not every roof is designed evenly where I can just total up the eave and the rake. A lot of times the, uh, the rakes, there's just, instead of four of them, there's just two. So I have to calculate the eave and the rake and the valley all differently. I'm going to cheat and get some of this information over here. Control C or press copy up there. Either one will work. Come back over here. Press paste. Okay. Probably. Yeah, I'm going to move those down one more. Because I'm going to put my totals up here. This uh, video is going to take me a couple of videos in order to build this sheet for you. I am going to use auto sum and I'm going to move this out of my way. I want to auto sum down. Ah. Press enter. Actually I can see that and then I'm going to uh, press fill. I'm going to take all of these that's my calculation area. I'm going to put borders all the way around. And then I'm going to put a uh, thick border. I'm running about 30 seconds left. I need to get another row in here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it over. That way I can answer some questions here. Uh, the eaves on this job. I've got about five seconds left. I'll 
continue on the next video building.